Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on India Chairs SCO Defence Minister's meeting urges cooperation to fight terrorism. Rights body highlights instability and rising violence against minorities in Pakistan. And Sri Lankan economy to shrink by 2% in 2023, says its central bank. And now for all the details. India's Defence Minister Rajnath Singh on Friday chaired the Shanghai Cooperation Organisation, the SCO's Defence Minister's meeting in capital New Delhi. Singh in his opening remarks said, the member nations have cultural and civilizational linkages and with changing times, the grouping should work to strengthen them. Singh said, India views SCO as an important forum to promote defence cooperation and share common concerns. He also urged cooperation to counter terrorism. Defence Ministers of China, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Russia, Tajikistan and Uzbekistan took part in the meeting physically while Pakistan attended virtually. The meeting was also joined by ministers from Iran and Belarus who were invited by India as observer nations. Rajnath Singh also held separate bilateral meetings with his counterparts from the SCO member nations. During the COVID-19 pandemic, India truly established that it was the pharmacy of the world and it did so by supplying vaccines to almost 100 countries and relevant medicines to at least 150 countries, India's Foreign Minister S. Jayashankar said on Thursday as he addressed a business forum meet in Colombia. He said, the fact is, is that COVID has made us all much more aware of supply chain vulnerabilities and pitched that India's traditional medicine and wellness practice could also have strong business implications. The foreign minister is currently on a four-nation trip to Latin America to boost cooperation. During the COVID pandemic, India truly established that it was the pharmacy of the world. If we are looking at more sources, regionalized production and competitive pricing, I would suggest to our Colombian friends that Indian industry is your natural partner. Pakistan is set to receive the first shipment of discounted Russian oil by May. The purchase of crude oil is expected to provide respite to the cash-strapped country, which has been struggling to avert a balance of payments crisis. Pakistan's Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif informed the parliament on Thursday that everything was set for his country to receive a shipment of discounted Russian oil. Reports suggest a cargo with the first shipment is likely to arrive by May. The government has raised petrol prices multiple times in recent months to meet conditions for an IMF bailout package. The deal with Russia will see Pakistan buy only crude oil, not refined fuels, with Islamabad to target imports to reach 100,000 barrels per day if the first transaction goes through smoothly. Inflation in Pakistan was at 35% in March, fueled by a depreciating currency, a rollback in subsidies and the imposition of higher tariffs. The foreign exchange reserves in the country's central bank have fallen to barely cover a month of controlled imports. Energy imports make up the majority of its external payments. The Human Rights Commission of Pakistan in its flagship annual report released this week has expressed concern over the political and economic instability in the country. It notes enforced disappearances and crackdowns against political activists are on the rise in the country, particularly in Balochistan. Incidents of violence against religious minorities have also increased, adding that while the number of blasphemy charges fell, the incidents of mob lynching appeared to have risen. The rights body further said in the year 2022, colonial era sedition laws were weaponized to stifle dissent. Dozens of journalists and opposition politicians were also arrested with ensuing claims of custodial torture. 
The year 2022 also saw an alarming resurgence in terror attacks, the highest in five years, with 533 lives lost. The rights body reported adding that the state continued to fumble in addressing militancy. Sri Lanka's central bank in its annual report has informed that the island nation's economy is expected to shrink by 2% in the year 2023 as the country is struggling to emerge from its worst financial crisis in decades. The economy shrank by 7.8% in 2022 in a year dominated by deep political instability, soaring inflation and steep currency depreciation amid record low foreign exchange reserves. The central bank's growth estimate for 2023 is more optimistic than the 3.1 contraction projected by the IMF, which finalized a nearly $3 billion bailout to the crisis-hit country last month. According to the report, Sri Lanka's economy would grow by 3.3% in 2024. The island now expects to complete its debt restructuring process in time for the first IMF review in September. The UN Security Council on Thursday unanimously condemned a Taliban administration ban on Afghan women working for the United Nations in Afghanistan and called on Taliban leaders to swiftly reverse a crackdown on the rights of women and girls. The resolution, drafted by the UAE and Japan, describes the ban as unprecedented in UN's history and asserts the indispensable role of women in Afghan society. The vote came days before a planned international meeting in Doha by the UN on Afghanistan. Taliban officials have said decisions on female aid workers are an internal issue. The UN resolution also recognizes the need to address substantial challenges facing Afghanistan's economy, including through using assets belonging to Afghan Central Bank for the benefit of the Afghan people. The Central Bank assets remain frozen due to foreign sanctions. Sizzling heat in parts of India has prompted zoo authorities to take special measures to keep the inmates cool. Zoo animals are receiving special treat of juicy fruits and they are being given a bath at regular intervals. Take a look. Zoo authorities in parts of India have taken major steps to help animals stay cool amid the hot weather. Animals at the Nahargar Zoological Park in Jaipur city are being fed special seasonal fruits and vegetables as rising temperatures adversely affect their metabolism. While coolers have also been installed near their enclosures, their caretakers also give them a bath at regular intervals. खाद्य जो उनको फीड है उसमें परिवर्तन किया गया है जो हमारे स्लॉथ बियर हैं उसको जो का सत्व दिया जा रहा है साथ साथ दूध भी दिया जा रहा है इसके अलावा हम स्पेशल उनके लिए फ्रूट आइसक्रीम दी जाते हैं जिसमें विभिन्न जो सीजनल फ्रूट्स हैं जैसे एप्पल एप्पल बनाना और इसके वाटरमेलन ये उनको मिला के भालू में दिया जाता है इसके अतिरिक्त हमारे जो हरबी वोरस हिरण प्रजाति के जो भी वन्य जीव हैं उनको रिचिका की मात्रा बढ़ाई गई है साथ साथ उनको सीजनल फ्रूट्स में खीरा है ककड़ी है और उसके साथ तरबूज दिया जाता है प्रतिदिन वन्य जीवों को जब एंक्लोजर में निकालते हैं उससे पहले उनको नहलाया जाता है समर्स इन इंडिया आर अ डिफिकल्ट टाइम व्हेन सोरिंग टेंपरेचर्स लीड टू न्यूमरस कैजुअलिटीज फॉर ह्यूमंस एज़ वेल एज़ एनिमल्स पॉसिबल रीजंस फॉर द राइजिंग टेंपरेचर्स रेंज फ्रॉम ग्लोबल वार्मिंग टू ग्रेटर अर्बनाइजेशन लीडिंग टू टॉलर बिल्डिंग्स एंड डिमिनिशिंग ग्रीन कवर लोगों ने कुछ कूलरों की व्यवस्था करी है शेल के अंदर लायन टाइगर लेपर्ड इनमें भालू इनमें सब में हमने नाइट के समय कूलर की व्यवस्था करी करीब चार कूलर इनमें लगाए हैं उसके अलावा जो न्यू वर्ल्ड मंकी है वो भी काफ़ी सेंसिटिव होते हैं हीट को लेके उनके इनक्लोजरों में भी दोनों तरफ से दो साइड से हवा के लिए कूलर कूलिंग के लिए दो कूलर लगाए हुए Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.